hello guys this is another beginner level tutorial for python beginners and in this tutorial i am going to show you how to use ternary operator in python that is ternary conditional operator uh, it was added in python 2.5 we uh, did not get in before that so it was not available uh, and the ternary operator in python is different than most other languages so how to use ternary operator in python so uh, think that uh, you have if I variable I that is true and a variable called J that is false so oh, uh, I should tell you that we are uh, going to learn it by examples not just by uh, theory so let's do it so I say it is true true if I else it is false so it returns it is true so look at the syntax first at the beginning of the line there will be the value that you want to return if the condition is true and if the condition is false you want to return another value so in between the if and else there will be a condition so let's rewrite it I say if I equals true so I am putting a condition there or you may say if I is true so it's providing with the uh, first value you provided in that line so if now if you say J what is it going to return it is going to return that it is false so you see it is false that's how it works in python it it is not similar to other programming languages like php c c plus plus java etc it is totally different and i like it i think you also like this uh, so uh, do you want to practice with some other uh, lines of code if so let's do that so i say i equals pipe and now I'm going to say that the number is even even when the number is even if I modulus 2 equals 0 else the sorry you have to put a string or any other type of value whatever you want or whatever you like or what your need is so I am going to say that the number is odd so the number is odd that means 5 is odd right so if I say i equals 4 what is it going to return you so it says the number is even 4 is even right so we are right that's how the ternary operator or ternary conditional operator whatever you say works in python that's all for now i am going to come with another beginner level tutorial for you and till then stay tuned